Well, good day, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 16th, 2021. And welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Volcanic Activity Report for Week 20, 2021, where we are observing 38 active and erupting volcanoes from around the world, as well observing the volcanoes showing unrest. We're going to start out here in Iceland, where, of course, Fegrod is folly, or as otherwise known as Geldingadalar, still actively erupting. Stromboli vol Volcano in Italy, Etna Volcano downgraded to active, notable Campi Fregri over there, active in erupting Ert to Ale, as well through Africa here, Nirigongo and Nirimirigira. A notable showing signs of unrest here since last year, Mayotte, Island Volcano. As well, Pinton de la Fornes, active and erupting. And then, of course, we've had a lot of earthquakes here recently, and as well, a pretty sizable eruption at Cinnabung Volcano. Pretty active recently. As well, Carinchi Volcano. Looking through Indonesia here, Marapi, Semeru, and Rung, as well Luwatolo. Into the northern islands of Indonesia, Ibu, and as well Dakono. And Tal Volcano has since uh, been downgraded as well, no longer active. Looking through southern Japan, Swiss and Ajima, and as well as Sakurajima and Era. So 39 volcanoes, but 38 here, recorded with Volcano Discovery. As well, Ebuko Volcano, and through Kamchatka, Karamiski, and as well, Shivaluch. Notable Aleutian Chain Islands waking up here. The Cleveland volcano opened up a few months ago. Sebes Nipochnoi. And now the Great Sitkin volcano showing signs of unrest. So a lot of activity recently through the Aleutian Islands as well. Kilauea releasing a lot of SO2. Coming up in the SO2 maps. As well through Papua New Guinea where we have the Cadavor Langila, and as well Bagana, all active. A Yasser volcano, and as well the mighty Erubus in Antarctica. And head over to Central America, where of course in Mexico we have the active and erupting Popo. As well, Santiaguito, Fuego Volcano, and Pacaya. Sizable eruptions taking over a lot of land with this lava. Messiah Volcano. And then, of course, La Soufriere on uh, St. Vincent. And then through South America here. A long line of volcanoes here as well. What, five showing unrest there in between three active Nevadas de Ruiz, Reventador, and as well Sangay. Moving into Peru here, Sabincaya, and I'm surprised Ubinas is not being listed here yet. Nevadas de Chilean, and Villarica. So overall, right now, we are looking at 39 volcanoes around the world that are active and erupting. 38 listed here with VolcanoDiscovery.com. And just want a correlation here. And you look at the last seven days for earthquakes. We do have a lot of tectonic plate movement happening right now. And the amount 
of earthquakes coming out of the northwest is a little bit worrisome recently. Small swarms, and as well, 4.1 here off the coast of Oregon early today. Small earthquake swarm here, Mina, Nevada, as well, Ridgecrest. So stay aware and prepared, and let's have a look at the SL2 maps brought to you by nullschool.net. And starting out looking over South or North America, and you can see across eastern United States and through Ontario, pretty bad air quality heading up. Well, right now, actually, and there's going to be even more coming into the West Coast. And just looking out at these interesting areas of uh, sulfur releases across North America right now. Central America, not bad. South America, Argentina, and Chile border. Watching for air quality to spike there as well. 52 parts per milligram. Over Europe as well. Light. And through the West Indies and Arabias. And that, uh, I mean, our pollution and SO2 levels are nothing like China. Look at that, 82 parts per milligram. It's no wonder they walk around all the time with masks on. Looking over Australia, I mean, where is all this SO2 coming from? What's, uh, <laughs> what's happening in Australia? I mean, it is a hotbed and probably just multiple volcanoes underneath that. <laughs> Overlooking the windy.com, let's have a look at the forecasted SO2 for the next three days and across the United States watch for all of this SO2 to come out of Kilauea and head into the west coast in the three-day forecast and as well part of that cloud most of the cloud is going to be heading west over all the Hawaiian islands but a lot of it's heading east here into the coastline so watch through the upper midwest uh, through California all this week the next couple days some nasty air quality for North America right now, as well South America as well. It's been pretty active through there for volcanoes, releasing a lot of SO2. And then look at Iceland. We're still observing so much lava and SO2 coming out of Iceland. Big cloud heading towards the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. And then who knows after that? Stay tuned, because weekly I do give you an update on all the active and erupting volcanoes around the world, as well as the air quality report, which might have to become a daily thing. Overlooking Southeast Asia, the West Indies, same thing. Three-day forecast. But it's going to be scary indeed here for all of the Hawaiian Islands, pretty much as the SO2 cloud is going to be heading right over top of you guys. And we're going to be sitting at about, what, 52 parts per milligram? I think it was. Or sorry, 274 parts per milligram, which will be heading back to the Hawaiian Islands here. In the three-day forecast, 336 parts per milligram. So heads up, Hawaii, air quality advisory will be in effect. This has been Mike with your Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. Please stay aware and prepared. Share this video with your Hawaiian friends and family. Much love. Prayers for humanity. Bye-bye now. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your Morning Dew. Bye-bye.